Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, I would like to talk to you about the differences between Streamlabs and OBS Studio. Now, if you're looking at streaming or even recording and capturing content off your PC, there's some definite specific details and differences between the two pieces of software you may want to know. So as usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. All right, my streaming PC monitor is over here, so I'm gonna look over here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my streaming PC. Here you can see I'm running Streamlabs. Um, now you must, you, if say you're starting from the beginning, what is Streamlabs and what is OBS Studio? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up here. So uh, OBS, uh, OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software, and what it is is a piece of software that allows you to capture different device inputs and outputs from your computer system, whether it be your monitor, your microphone, your speakers, etc., cetera, uh, and also uh, lay them out in different areas and formats. It's kind of like your own personalized little live streaming Photoshop with different layers and things you can do. So there's a lot of capabilities of both pieces of software. Now, there is, now this is the original OG software, it's OBS. Now, stream Labs um, is a software that came out afterwards, which utilizes OBS, but is more tailored towards streamers, uh, utilizing different tools and implementations, uh, feature additions, things like that, that they have added to the software. Now, uh, the difference between the two is one is more geared around streamers and one is more geared around screen cap, but they both have the capability to complete uh, the end goal in streaming and or recording. But uh, Streamlabs can make it a little bit easier, but there's a catch-22 with Streamlabs as it has a lot more intensive and harder resource hungry uh, features in it. Um, and so you have to make sure that you are running uh, a dual PC setup, depending on the game you're playing, or a nice single beefy PC uh, with good hardware specs to be utilizing Streamlabs. Um, now, that depends on how many different layers and effects and things you have going on with your actual uh, streaming layout. So if your layout has tons of effects and motion captured stuff and transparent video files, things like that, it's definitely gonna get more resource intensive when you're using uh, Stream Labs. Now, with OBS software, if you're a single PC streamer, I would highly recommend using the regular OBS software, especially if you're just getting started. Uh, I, would use, I would use OBS, uh, that's just my personal opinion because it's less hardware, less hardware intensive uh, and utilizes less resources and it's a little bit more easy to use as far as learning capabilities and things like that. It's not as cluttered in the software. Uh, I use Streamlabs, I've been streaming for about three years or so now, uh, maybe longer actually, maybe four I've been streaming and um, it, it, it has, you can see here I've got a ton of different uh, profiles that I've saved. Um, I have a bunch of different scenes that I switch back and forth between. Um, and, you know, maybe show you here, you can see I can switch back and forth this. I've got a bunch of different logos that are moving. You can see I have transitions that do those kinds of things. Um, so it's, it's and it, there's a lot of inputs and outputs as well as things that I've integrated with my stream deck and it goes very, very, very deep. So if this is sounding like too much and you're like, oh my gosh, Draco, this is, this is crazy. Um, and you know, the mixing capabilities and all the tools and layouts, if this is looking like a little bit too much, I would highly recommend starting off with the open broadcast software. It's a lot more simple and I'm actually running both, both right now and I can show you the differences. I don't think it was gonna work, but it actually works. But even the way that the settings are kind of laid out, uh, it's a bit easier to kind of go through. So essentially, depending on whichever one you purchase, you, or not purchase, but download and decide to use, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and set up your, your streaming account, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, etc. Um, the menus are very, very similar. They both provide a, most of the same features, if not um, almost all of them. Streamlabs just has a few bit more. I actually wish and or might change my setup and try OBS out again. Um, uh, but because I don't utilize a lot of the prime features or the, the layouts that they provide, but they do provide merchandise store integrations and things like that. Let me show you the difference in the menu. Uh, see, so you can see that there's like a remote control type uh, addition that they add where you can add a, a phone or a tablet and add buttons to it. If you can't afford a stream deck, a physical stream deck, you can create a digital one. Um, appearance notifications, virtual webcams, prime. So there's some different uh, things compared to regular OBS. This is more of a simpler interface and things like that, a bit less features. And this is definitely where I'd recommend you starting. If you have a single PC again, 
just starting out streaming or building your layout, learning how OBS works with the inputs and outputs, adding different uh, devices and, and sources and scenes and things like that. It's broken down very, very simple. So you've got start streaming, start recording. You can start a virtual camera here as well. Uh, studio edit, mood settings, exit. Like everything's pretty much straightforward. Got output, input, audio, video, some hotkeys, and some advanced stuff in general settings. So this is definitely something you want to look at and think about when deciding whether you are going to go with Streamlabs versus OBS Studio. I hope this video helped you out decide on whether you want to go with OBS Studio or you're ready to jump into the deep waters of Streamlabs. I'm Drake Correa, here to help the gaming community. As usual, no BS, no fluff, and I will see you guys next time.